हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द सेम चैप्टर फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एंड मेजरमेंट टुडे एंड एज यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन दिस इज द पार्ट फोर्टीन ऑफ द चैप्टर एंड टुडे इट इज द लास्ट ओके इट इज द लास्ट सेशन फॉर दिस चैप्टर ओके एंड इट इज द लास्ट पार्ट so in the last session we had talked about the measuring temperature and these things we have read that what is thermometer and advantages of using mercury okay in the thermometer what are the advantages of using mercury that we have studied in the last session and today we will continue from here a scales on the on a thermometer and after that we will talk about the types of thermometer also clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer so one by one we will talk about these things so a scales on thermometer usually marking are done on a thermometer taking into consideration of two fixed difference temperature means whenever the marking is done on the thermometer then two differences are taken okay two differences two fixed differences are taken and two fixed differences of temperatures are taken on the thermometer then marking is done accordingly okay and what two references are taken that will study uh, right now so these points are known as the lower fixed points and upper fixed points whatever the two fixed differences are there suppose that uh, uh, the lower temperature as you, you can see if you you must have seen the clinical thermometer we use the uh, means whenever we feel that uh, fever then we use the uh, clinical thermometer to measure the temperature okay and you must have seen in that that uh, marking is done in two manners okay in two ways in the degree celsius also okay and as well as in degree fahrenheit if you see if you notice then you see that the degree celsius marking is done from where to where it is done and 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius okay the marking is done what 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius if you will notice on the thermometer clinical thermometer so uh, actually this is this and this these are the differences of the body temperature means the body temperature can't go below this okay and above this so whenever we feel that 102 temperature is there 103 temperature is there then those are in the fallen height don't get confused whenever we f measure the temperature 102 98 97 like this then those are in the foreign height we see the measurement in the foreign height but in the celsius scale if you see look at the celsius marking then you will see that celsius marking is from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius so these are the two body what two temperature differences okay means this is the lower temperature which can uh, be of anybody okay means the person can have uh, what the body temperature can't go below 35 degrees celsius and the body temperature can't go ever 42 de degrees celsius so these are the extreme temperature means extreme okay of the body temperature so these are taken as the references and here the marking is done accordingly so here we are talking about these only that uh, thermometer marking is done okay uh, into the condition uh, consideration sorry consideration two fixed differences temperature okay and these two points are known as lower fixed point and upper fixed point lower fixed point the minimum temperature suppose that here 35 is taken then this is the lower fixed point okay what is lower fixed point the uh, smaller one and uh, that uh, highest temperature uh, will be known as upper fixed point so highest marking he is here 42 degree celsius so it is upper fixed mark so i hope that you understood lower fixed point and upper fixed points generally uh, celsius fahrenheit and kelvin scales are used in the thermometer in celsius scale the lower fixed point is 0 degree celsius okay in the celsius scale i'm not talking about here that uh, about the thermometer okay in the celsius scale generally uh, lower fixed point is 0 degree celsius which is melting point of the ice and upper fixed point is 100 degree celsius which is the boiling point so marking is done accordingly here okay from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius so this is talking about the celsius scale not the clinical thermometer i had just taken the example of clinical thermometer okay 
so here this will be the what lower fixed point and this will be the upper fixed point the scale between these fixed point is then equally divided into 100 equal parts and then suppose that the marking is done here 0 degree celsius what 0 degree celsius and here 100 degree celsius then between these whatever part is you know this is divided into 100 smaller parts okay 100 smaller part and each part is each each part indicates 1 degree celsius 1 degree celsius okay each part all of the 100 parts okay means the value of each and every part will be 1 degree celsius as you can see here that a scale between these two fixed points is then equally divided into 100 equal parts of 1 degree celsius so it is about the celsius scale now we'll talk about the fahrenheit scale okay fahrenheit scale we are not talking about fahrenheit thermometer we are talking about the scale so in thermometer scale the lower and upper fixed scales are 32 degree fahrenheit and 212 degree fahrenheit respectively why because uh, the scale between these fixed points are yeah you will understand in later on why okay now these are means this is the lowest and this is the highest so we can say that this is the what lowest fixed point what lowest fixed point 32 degree fahrenheit and it is the highest uh, temperature that is marked in the Celsius scale so it is the highest fixed point I hope that you understood and after that uh, the part is divided into 32 degrees uh, Fahrenheit suppose the 32 degree Fahrenheit and here 212 degree Fahrenheit so from here to here okay on the scale it is divided into 180 parts okay in how many parts 180 parts in the celsius scale it has been divided into 100 parts but here it has uh, it is divided into 180 parts why if you will get the difference of these and these then you will get 100 you find out okay if you will get the difference of 212 and 32 then you will get 180 that's why it has been divided into 100 equal parts 180 equal parts and each part shows one foreign height each part shows one degree foreign height okay so you will not forget that in the celsius scale 100 parts are there and in the foreign height scale 180 parts are there now we'll talk about the kelvin scale kelvin scale has been adopted as the international standard for scientific temperature we know that that kelvin is the si unit of temperature also and it is as uh, what this scale is adopted internationally okay as the it uh, it has been uh, adopted as the international standard for scientific temperature measurement it is related to the celsius scale as the difference between the freezing point and boiling point between the water sorry boiling point of the water is 100 degrees in each scale no so we have got that the what boiling point uh, and uh, freezing point of the water we know already so the ice melts at 200 273 kelvin or 0 degree celsius and water boils at 373 degree kelvin or 0 sorry or 100 degree celsius no because we can uh, we understand that kelvin is equal to degree celsius plus 273 okay this is the relation between the kelvin and degree celsius and relation is given here also suppose that the temperature is given in the degree celsius suppose that i will say the temperature is uh, what uh, 15 degree celsius then what will the temperature what will the measurement of this in the kelvin scale so in the kelvin what is the formula that uh, degree celsius plus 273 it means 15 degree plus not i uh, will not add degree here okay we will add the numerical value only because uh, kelvin is not written in degree only fahrenheit and celsius are written in degree so 15 plus 273 it means 288 kelvin so we can say that 15 degree celsius is equal to 288 okay 288 kelvin so these are the what here relationship is given that is degree celsius is equal to this if uh, fahrenheit the temperature is given in fahrenheit then we can convert into degree celsius or that the uh, temperature is given in degree celsius then we can convert into the degree fahrenheit if degree celsius is given then we can convert into the kelvin so you will practice these things by taking the example that take the example of the temperature and just try to convert and practice okay at least five five examples you will take for each and every and you practice then uh, it will be memorized okay now 
uh, we'll talk about the types of thermometer types of thermometer so at first we'll talk about the clinical thermometer clinical thermometer is used to motion the temperature of the humans it is used to just uh, measure the temperature of the human body it is also called the doctor's thermometer clinical thermometer is also known as the doctor's thermometer if you look carefully a clinical thermometer in, in this figure and you see that the scale on the what if you see that the scale on its stem whatever scale is there on its stem so the temperature from 35 degrees celsius to 42 degrees celsius if you notice here then uh, the marking is done from 35 degrees celsius to 42 degrees celsius okay this much only the normal temperature of the healthy human is 37 de degrees celsius if the normal person is there normal uh, human body is there then its temperature is 37 degrees celsius okay and it never drops below 35 degree and never rises above 42 degree unless certain drastic condition are reached. if the below this if uh, the temperature go goes it means the condition is very critical and above this also it goes okay then also the condition is very drastic we can say so normally it does not go below this and above this now a clinical thermometer has a slight bend or kink in the capillary tube just above the bulb you can notice here that just this is the bulb and just above the bulb this okay this is the in the capillary tube this is the kink bent it is bent no here you can see it is a bent it is actually this bent is known as kink also okay now the clinical thermometer has a slight bend on kink in the capillary tube just above the bulb why to check the body temperature the temp thermometer is normally placed in the mouth you must have done in the childhood or any day whenever you fall sick you get the fever you suffer from the fever then you must have measured or your parents must have measured the temperature of your body then how in which manner okay so many ways are there like uh, by putting in the thermometer in the mouth okay for some time other below the tongue or sometimes under the armpit also we keep okay to measure the body temperature and what happens after that the mercury in the bulb expands according to the temperature whenever it gets the heat from the uh, body temperature okay from the body it gets it then the mercury expands and according to the temperature it expands sometimes more sometimes less so it depends upon the temperature and after that uh, the level increases in the capillary tube and the mercury starts increasing okay because it uh, starts expanding so it uh, starts increasing because of the temperature and after that we take out the thermometer from the mouth after one or two minutes and the, we do the marking on the scale corresponding to the mercury level and after that we see that the mercury level where has it has the mercury reached means we see the mercury level and we see the marking there okay on the level and what the marking is there then we see that yes this much temperature is there of our body so and this is the way to measure the temperature using clinical thermometer and now uh, the question is there that why does the th uh, th temperature in the clinical thermometer not what not drop when it is taken out of the mouth suppose that when it is kept in the mouth then that uh, it uh, starts moving the, why, uh, because it gets the heat but when take out then it does not get heat so why does not it come back down so actually it happens uh, because of the kink because of this kink that bent in the capillary tube so actually when the thermometer is taken out of the mouth the mercury in the bulb contracts the mercury which is uh, present in the bulb that contracts okay and uh, the temperature outside the body temperature normally less the mercury columns break and mercury columns when uh, when it uh, contracts suddenly when we take out the uh, what thermometer from the mouth then suddenly the temperature decreases and uh, what happens the mercury whatever mercury is there in the uh, this bulb then that contracts and it's uh, and because of that contraction in the mercury there is a column break in the kink okay means the they got disconnected actually it gets shrinked it gets contract then uh, suddenly this part the mercury up to here whatever up to here is there it gets contracted and it comes in the bulb 
and uh, it the link of the mercury in the column in the capillary tube gets break and does not get heat or etc that's that's why the mercury level remains same it remains same it does not fall it does not drop okay so uh, the mercury column gets break at the kink at the kink only it gets break and thus the level of the mercury remains constant even after taking the thermometer out of the mouth the mercury is in the stem is brought back to the bulb by giving a few soft jerk and whenever we will have to measure the temperature of another body another human body then uh, uh, it, the mercury level should be at last in the beginning then for that what will you do so whether mercury level is here now suppose then what will you do we will give a jerk we will just shake we will uh, hold the thermometer from here and we, we will give a uh, soft jerk then the mercury level uh, will drop and it will come down and again we will use the thermometer to what we will use the thermometer again to measure the temperature of another body now we will talk about the laborate, laboratory thermometer by the name only it is clear that it is used in the laboratory only a laboratory thermometer measures the temperature of the range minus 10 degrees celsius to 110 degrees celsius very extreme temperatures also it can measure even below 0 degrees celsius no so what is the range of the laboratory thermometer if the question will be there that what is what is the range of the uh, laboratory thermometer the range is minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius this is the range of the laboratory thermometer it is used to measure temperature in the laboratory for various experiments okay obviously it is used in the laboratory obviously it, it is used it will be used to measure the temperature in the laboratory for various experiments only with a high degree of precision the con the construction of the laboratory thermometer is same as that of the clinical thermometer except the what king means the construction or we can say that the structure of the laboratory thermometer is same as that of the clinical thermometer means the structure is same only one difference is there that in the laboratory thermometer kink is not there here just above the bulb kink is not there while uh, in the clinical thermometer the kink is there just above the bulb we can see here so this much uh, only one difference is there between the clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer first difference is that kink and second difference is that marking of the what marking of the temperature means it can measure the extreme temperature okay two differences are there sorry now it is used to yeah up to here we have understood that uh, it is used uh, in the laboratory for various experiments and the construction uh, we have understood now there are some precautions to be observed while measuring the temperature with the laboratory thermometer whenever we are going to use this thermometer to measure the temperature in the laboratory then we will have to follow we will have to uh, follow uh, some precautions okay there uh, means we should keep the precautions for that while we are going to use the laboratory thermometer what are the precautions that should be kept in the mind so first one is that that laboratory thermometer should always be kept upright not tilted whenever it is kept okay it should be just straight vertically it should not be tilted so it should be fitted in the stand okay it is fitted suppose that this is the stand in the laboratory and it is thermometer is fitted in the stand like this and it should be vertically it should not be tilted like this in this manner it should not be it should be vertically okay so it should be kept upright not tilted this is the first precaution that should be kept in the mind while uh, uh, using the thermometer this thermometer laboratory thermometer in the lab okay now second precautions that uh, we, that should be kept in the mind is the bulb of the thermometer should be properly dipped in the substance so this bulb should be dipped in the substance whose temperature is to be measured so whichever temperature is to be measured in that the bulb should be dipped completely it should be dipped okay then it can measure the temperature of the substance now third precaution that uh, the bulb should not touch the base suppose that it is the pot okay and it is kept like this thermometer upright down 
like this then the bulb should not touch the base it should not touch the base of the object okay so it should be just above the okay just above the vessel the bulb should not touch the base but it should be dipped in the substance so these precautions we should keep in our mind okay so now the chapter is over and i will advise you to just read the chapter uh, at least two times again and try to understand each and everything again and the question answer will be done in few days okay all of uh, many of you we are asking about the question answers so i said that uh, let the uh, let uh, let us finish uh, chapter 2 then we will do the question question answers of chapter 2 and one also because that is also left so now in few days it will be done so all of you bye have a nice day